Okay, hello, this is Les Hall with a little background noise. I'm in my nursing home and I'm here to show you how to make an animated GIF or GIF as it, some call it uh, using OpenSCAD. And what we're focusing on here today is the Raptor hand from Enable. It's an assistive device, not a prosthetic. And we are um, going to take a look at the code, um, Alt Plus, to make it bigger and bigger so you can see it. Little comment at the beginning I like to put. Uh, here we have a variable s assigned to a sine wave expression involving dollar t. Of course, we use 360 instead of 2 pi because we're in OpenSCAD and that's how OpenSCAD works. And we add 1 to the sign so that the s variable is always above 0 and divide by 2 so its range is from 0 to 1. Okay, now we're going to use that s variable. We have the hand in place here at. Uh, well, I guess I put it at minus six. I didn't realize it wasn't at zero, zero, zero. But at any rate, there's the hand. And it stays still. But here we have the gauntlet. That's this part over here that goes on the arm. And that gauntlet is uh, located at a certain translate position with the file loaded and it has a minus 25 times s. So it's moving back and forth sinusoidally at 25 millimeters amplitude of s from 0 to minus 25 to 0 to minus 25 and so on. And that's all there is to it. You know, all the other parts are just more complicated, like look at the fingers. The thumb's pretty complicated. Here's the thumb's fingertip. That's all the translate and rotate I had to do. And I had to bury the 50 times S for the thumb's fingertip, that's this part here, um, inside of a translate statement buried inside of some rotates. So you got to use translates and rotates together and really think through your geometry how that works. And, you know, this is the whole file. It's 100 lines long. And it, uh, do, it makes this animation. Also, under the View menu, we select Animate. And then we fill in the frames per second variable and the steps variable for the number of steps. You want to keep your, excuse me, a squeaky bed, pain in the rear bed, so I have to move for once in a while. Anyway, uh, keep your step number kind of low. 30 is a good number for a cyclic thing like this, for any kind of animated GIF. Then I used, uh, and you, you check this dump pictures. Oh, let me take that off. I continue to dump the pictures. You use this dump pictures feature to uh, dump one full cycle of pictures or two cycles. You know, just make sure you get all the pictures and then uncheck it. Don't leave it on like I did. And then you come over here. This is a program called GIF Fun that runs on the Mac. Obviously, I'm on a Mac. I don't know how to do it on PC or Linux. Um, so you're up to your own as how to take the individual .png files that are produced. Here they all are in all their glory. Um, individually loaded from frame o o o o o to frame od 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 30 yeah right here and i i clicked on options here got the options box checked use transparent color white but i didn't have a white background so it didn't matter huh. but um anyway then make gif and you get it all righty here's what your folder is going to look like you've got uh, the GIF itself, you've got your SCAD, 
This is an SCAD that I saved with before I added the movie features. And then all the frames. All the frames are there. So that's that. And here is the enable Google group in which I have posted the Raptor exploded and you can see the wonderfully supported comments by people. Very nice work, that is cool, nice job, and so on and so forth that, that people had to say. So I made this video to teach people how to do this in OpenSCAD so that they can uh, we can animate all of our other enable uh, artificial assistive devices and uh, have fun with GIFs. Yay. So that's it for that. Um, um, dum, dum, dum. Less out. Praise the Lord.